Well, it's great the Rockies had an off day to get that done early in the day because there is quite a bit of activity out there. Northwestern Colorado, you've sort of skipped the boat here. You can see there's a diagonal line really from the southwest all the way to the northeast and our eastern plains, definitely the most active area. I do want to start by zooming on into the Denver area. There are some areas getting some light rainfall. There was a good little cell sort of broke apart before it made it anywhere uh, too far uh, in between Denver and down towards Littleton. Still have some rain. And then really south side of town right now, uh, Larkspur, Castle Rock, Woodmore, you've been getting some real heavy rain and a lot of this is heading out towards Kiowa. So Kiowa get ready for some heavy rainfall and a lot of lightning. I took away the lightning so that we can actually see that heavy rainfall. But the eastern plains, you're getting the bulk of this right now. There is a severe thunderstorm warning right now for Elbert and Lincoln counties just south of Lyman right now. Uh, we do have some really intense rainfall, a lot of hail in this area and of course really gusty winds. But that line of storm goes all the way up towards Sterling. So Fort Morgan, Akron, Sterling right now, you are getting some really heavy rainfall and there's a ton of lightning out there as well. So very active out on our far eastern plains. And this line is just going to slowly keep making its way out towards the east. So if you live east of these areas, you're getting it next. And we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in place right now through 9 o'clock tonight. So anywhere in this area, chance for some storms still that could potentially turn severe tonight. And our severe thunderstorm outlook updated this morning. Yesterday, this was not in place. So it was uh, uh, definitely a little atmospheric shift there that we are looking at to have some bigger thunderstorms out there. And of course, we've already seen plenty of those out in the eastern plains. So future cast for tonight, we're going to see and continue to see those make their way out towards the eastern plains. Still could have some storms around the Denver area, but tonight the far eastern plains, you guys are getting the bulk of this. And then after about midnight, early tomorrow morning, those should clear out. And then tomorrow morning, we wake up to maybe a few clouds and some sunshine. And then in the afternoon hours, start to get a chance for a few more isolated storms, maybe some pass through Denver. But you'll notice again, it's not nearly as widespread as what we were expecting today. And then they'll shift down into southern Colorado later in the evening and over overnight. It's a lot cooler. 72 in Denver right now, 82 in Greeley, but still in the 90s in La Junta and Lamar. Uh, you can see really toasty out there. 67 in Frisco, 63 right now in Lyman with that thunderstorm. 82 in Rifle, 87 in Grand Junction. 78 from our weather watcher Nicholas in Arvada. 74 degrees here downtown. It certainly feels nice outside compared to yesterday with those uh, 90s. 89 out of DIA, 83 only today downtown. And checking in for tonight, you have a lot of low to mid 60s. 61 in Denver, 62 in Greeley. All the way out towards Ray, 60 in Fort Collins, 40s, 50s in our mountains, and then heading into tomorrow. We're still cooler, 89 in Denver, 90 in Greeley, mid to upper 80s out east, low 90s for the southeast, 70s, 80s in the mountains, and then 80s to the 90s on the western slope. And for your five-day forecast, 89 on Saturday. Still have a decent chance for a few thunderstorms out there, and that will continue through the weekend. And since it is monsoon season, you really just have a chance for afternoon thunderstorms pretty much every day. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. well,